Hey everybody, Michael Morale here with another edition of the Morale Monologue. In today's episode, I'm going to be introducing everybody to a company by the name of PTC and their drug that they call RG7916. PTC is a biopharmaceutical company and based on their expertise in RNA biology, they're trying to develop treatments for those of us with life-limiting diseases such as SMA. In my PowerPoint presentation, I not only introduce you to the company, but I also give you quite a bit of information regarding their drug and the benefits that those of us with SMA could be seeing in the not so distant future. After the PowerPoint presentation, I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Thank you. Who is PTC and what is RG7916? PTC Therapeutics is headquartered in South Plainfield, New Jersey. The mission at PTC Therapeutics has always been to build an integrated biopharmaceutical company based on their expertise in RNA biology. They are focused on discovering and developing novel oral treatments for patients with serious and life-limiting disorders. By targeting the processes that modulate RNA biology and affect protein production, PTC brings an innovative approach to drug discovery. They are focused particularly on the development and commercialization of treatments for rare and neglected disorders with a commitment to finding treatment options for patients living with life-threatening diseases. PTC currently have ongoing collaborations with Roche and the SMA Foundation for the development and commercialization of compounds for the treatment of spinal muscular atrophy. They believe RG7916 may have the potential to target the underlying cause of the disorder by increasing SMN protein levels in the nervous system, muscles, and other tissues by modifying the splicing of the SMN2 gene to generate more full-length SMN messenger RNA in SMA patients. RG7916 is an investigational oral therapeutic which is currently in two clinical studies. The Sunfish Clinical Study is a phase two study in adult and pediatric patients with type two and type three SMA. It is a placebo controlled, randomized, ascending dose study and will enroll approximately 36 patients for a minimum of 12 weeks to investigate the safety and tolerability of RG7916 and determine the dose for the second part of the study. The second part of Sunfish will be a double-blinded, placebo-controlled, randomized, confirmatory study in approximately 150 type 2 and type 3 SMA patients for up to 24 months, followed by an open-label extension. The primary objective of the pivotal second part of this study is to evaluate the efficacy of RG7916 compared to placebo. The Firefish Clinical Study is a study in infant patients with type 1 SMA. It is an open-label, ascending dose study and will enroll approximately eight patients for a minimum of four weeks to assess the safety profile of RG7916 in infants and determine the dose for the second part of the study. The second part of Firefish will be to be an open-label, single-arm study in approximately 40 infants with type 1 SMA for 24 months, followed by an open-label extension. The primary objective of the second part of this study will be to assess the efficacy of RG7916 at the selected dose after 12 months of treatment. Sunfish preliminary results from an early analysis from the ongoing part one of the RG7916 study demonstrated a dose-dependent increase in SMN2 full-length messenger RNA ratio of about 400% versus baseline as measured in whole blood. These results provided proof of mechanism for oral small molecule SMN2 splicing modifiers. No drug-related adverse events leading to withdrawal have been observed to date for RG7916. These data were presented at the Cure SMA meeting in July of 2017. In the Firefish clinical trial, early interim data from part one, the dose finding portion of the study, show RG7916 is safe and well tolerated at all doses and there were no drug-related safety findings leading to withdrawal. In addition, data on the ability to swallow and requirements for tracheostomy or permanent ventilation, together with overall survival, were also presented. Previously published natural history data indicate that in a comparable historic cohort, the median age of event-free survival for SMA type 1 infants 
to be between 8 and 10.5 months. These data were presented at the International Scientific Congress on Spinal Muscular Atrophy in January of 2018. The SMA program was initially developed by PTC Therapeutics in partnership with the SMA Foundation to utilize PTC's alternative splicing technology platform to identify and develop new small molecule therapeutics for use in the treatment or prevention of SMA. In November of 2011, Roche gained an exclusive worldwide license to the PTC SMA Foundation SMA program. Clinical development of RG7916 is being led by Roche and overseen by a joint steering committee with members from Roche, PTC, and the SMA Foundation. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation that I did for you, and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. If you enjoyed this edition of the Morale Monologue, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Those of us with SMA News Today hope that everyone is having a fantastic day. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.